Just wanted to make a quick video about a comment that was left. I moderate my channel. I was going to approve it and then respond to it publicly. Uh, when I did that, it went away, which means that the person deleted it. Um, this is almost like the poster child for the uh, mind warp of, of the experience that people are having called uh, gang stalking. Uh, that's the label that's been given. It, uh, it's a spiritual mind uh, a distortion going on uh, coming from the spirit realm. It's nothing in this world. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to read it all, you know, uh, it just gets stranger and stranger. And, um, and then, let's, let's get down here to this. Uh, they would love for you to not understand that Christ and Buddha and the real blue sky are the same. It's just that Christ is salvation as the Buddha is your liberation. Now, we've got some psychobabble uh, on steroids here. Uh, this is what happens to a person who's been out there for far too long, has no recovery whatsoever, does not know Jesus Christ, the real one, and he's making up his own doctrine as he goes along. This person doesn't know what the Bible says. He does not, not know the word or anything else, or he couldn't make any of these statements, um, especially the stuff about Christ and Buddha being the same. Uh, it's a... Uh, you know, a, a mashup of a bunch of different uh, ideologies and, uh, and these New Age folks come to this place where they just kind of uh, amalgamate a whole bunch of uh, strange uh, pagan ideas into their own doctrine and then they start living by it and they start going out of their minds. So what does God say about these kinds of people? Uh, there are many times... Uh, where I found in the book where he'll say, let them alone. Um, uh, they be blind leaders of the blind, and if uh, uh, they follow uh, these people, they're going to all go off into the ditch. That's in Matthew 15, 14. Acts, um, and now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone, for if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. Uh, what comes to mind is uh, if you want to learn how to play the piano or any instrument or do anything, you seek people who have skills, who know how to play the piano or do whatever it is that you seek to learn. Um, and so what you want to do is you want to listen to people who have come through that valley, uh, that strange experience, and come out the other side and have recovery, have a life in Christ, a better life than they did before, speak rationally, uh, aren't full of rage and anger and hatred, and aren't spewing a bunch of foul uh, uh, words and uh, smoking pot and uh, cigarettes and uh, drinking beers and, and, you know, down in a really raunchy sin life. Uh, so all of these behaviors, uh, add yoga in there, uh, acupuncture, all kinds of weird stuff, uh, uh, they're seeking uh, to heal themselves or uh, meditate them into a, themselves into a peaceful place. You hear the buzzwords about uh, the universe gave it to them, or uh, look what the universe did, or the light, or uh, um, uh, the man upstairs. Now, how blasphemous, blasphemous is it to refer to God as the man upstairs? Um, my higher power... That's a big one, too. So you hear these phrases that a person who is saved would never use. Um, they have to have accepted the gospel to be a brethren. And so be careful who you call a brother out there. Don't listen to these people if they're still insane. And most of them are not coming back. Notice, they're getting worse and worse, waxing worse and worse. And that's exactly what the book says. Um... When the uh, disciples asked Christ, you know, about the, the men who were casting out demons in his name, but they weren't disciples, they weren't his, he said, leave them alone. Uh, and, you know, they're, they're, not, they're not doing anything against us. Uh, so Christ will let these people alone. And a lot of them, that's the problem. Uh, they have rejected him uh, in every way possible. Uh, 
can notice, you know, they're they're empowered, they're heroes and sheroes, and they've accepted the whole thing about uh, everything in the world should just be accepted. And uh, who are we to judge? That's not what this book says. The King James Version does not say accept everything. Um, then the flood and uh, Sodom and Gomorrah was for nothing. Uh, he never changed. Uh, you know, so Jesus Christ is the Word. And if you love Christ, you love His Word. You love to be in His Word. And that's where the focus should be. Uh, that's where our minds should be. Uh, and, it, and it says so uh, in the book. Uh, you know, our, our, our minds are in the heavenlies. Uh, our, our attention should be focused on him most of the time. When Peter sank, when he stepped off the back of the boat, it was only when he took his eyes off Christ. We're coming to a very strange place in time. And uh, there's a lot of very satanic, weird uh, manipulations going on of lost people who are falling right in and believing everything that's being told to them about all kinds of things. Uh, God does not give us the spirit of fear. Who does? Satan 